Okay, so make no mistake about it, after now having to introduce the story of the top 5 strongest, we now finally have the inclusion of Frieza and Cooler having to finally reunite after so many years of having to be away, only to now see and witness the two brothers battle it out for the sole purpose of Cooler wanting to get his revenge, in deeming this as being a necessary action for the sole purpose of having everything ripped away from him, as all the while with Frieza's motives now being that he wants to recruit Cooler for the sole purpose of taking out Goku and Vegeta, for those of you that haven't seen my recent fan manga on this, I will go ahead and link that down in the description box and pinned comment section below, which with what you guys are seeing right now as I'm kicking the shit out of Cooler is going to be something that will be introduced later on in the story, because what had initially transpired during the event of this battle was both brothers actually had gone to realize something very important, which was the fact that Frieza had never seen Cooler's fifth form, and Cooler had never even gone to dream that Frieza would acquire such a golden form like the one he displayed, which now after having to lose to his brother in accepting his offer, Cooler now also wants to learn kind of a similar thing, which Cooler will without a doubt end up learning through Frieza as they go on to train, but realistically speaking canon wise, I would dare say that if Cooler was a part of Dragon Ball Super and he did gain somewhat of a golden form, then theoretically speaking I think that Cooler would take the cake in being superior here, but what will transpire in this upcoming story is the fact that Cooler will inevitably become stronger than Frieza, however, Frieza is going to have more of the speed advantage, more of the agility advantage, and more of the durability advantage in this battle going forward against Goku and Vegeta, considering the fact that right now, Goku is supposed to be training in battling against the top 5 strongest warriors, and make no mistake about it, I think that Cooler is kind of finished right now, yeah. So all of these death beams are going to be the end of Cooler since we're blasting him from behind, but needless to say, Frieza's main MO here is to ultimately get back in getting his revenge on Goku and Vegeta, but this time with a partner, so we're definitely gonna run this fight back now, because not for nothing, I'm genuinely curious if Cooler's actually able to beat me this time. So just in case some of you guys are kind of wondering as to how this is going to go, well, Frieza is actually going to inform Cooler about so much, just as he did in their recent battle, and telling him, hey, there are other warriors out there like Jiren, like perhaps maybe Hit and Kefla, other warriors that exceed even those within this universe, so we're gonna have to tread carefully here because even if we end up becoming the strongest in this universe, it's not really guaranteed that we're gonna be the strongest in the multiverse. And that's essentially Frieza's goal, as of course right now, I'm still continuously whooping on my giant brother, which I don't think would be the case because even if you want to use Super Dragon Ball Heroes as a scaling kind of measurement here, I still think that Cooler takes the cake when it comes down to just displaying overall feats over Frieza, but then again, we don't really know too much about Cooler as opposed to Frieza, but in this story, we are going to see a massive collision where Frieza is doing this with a purpose. He's going to be informing Cooler about the fusion technique and, of course, the Potara earrings. He's going to be informing him as he did about the Gods of Destruction, the Angels, and so many other things, including informing Cooler about the previous battles that Goku and Vegeta have waged against Broly, against Moro, against the Heaters, against the Gammas, and I can't wait to show you guys how everything unfolds on the main channel, which again, if you guys just so happen to have missed out on those episodes, I will go on ahead and link them down in the description box below and pinned comment section because you guys really don't want to miss out on how this is going to transpire because the story itself really isn't going to go the way you think. It's going to have lots of twists, lots of turns, and the buildup prior to the actual showcase event where Goku battles against Budo first and the other warriors is going to take some time because as for me, I'm a guy that likes development, right? So I want to be able to take my time and expand upon this story to make it kind of feel as though everything matters, which it will, and I can promise you this, Cooler and Frieza are going to have backup plans, backup plans to those backup plans, backup plans to those backup plans to those backup plans, so I can't wait to show you guys how they actually pull this off, especially with who their first main enemy is going to be and person they fight, so again, thank you all so much for watching guys, I hope you guys enjoyed, tune back in for more, if you guys are new, hit that subscribe button and give this video a big fat thumbs up right now if you guys enjoyed, and I'll be seeing each and every single one of you down the comment section below and in the next video, take it easy guys and have a great day, peace!